Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cece, if you're new here. I like to share everything with fashion, beauty, you know, the hardships of being a mom kind of all into one. I post here on YouTube weekly, so please like this video and subscribe. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give. Start off this video by talking about how hard it is to really find your fashion, your style again after being after becoming a mom. Because you kind of want to look cute, but also be comfortable and still look kind of put together while you're out in public or if you're at work. Even for me, I work from home and I do like to find outfits like part of the athleisure wear. Um, that makes me kind of feel more put together but um, I'm about two years postpartum my son is turning two in like two weeks less than that and I have found some really awesome staple pieces that I'm really excited to share with y'all that kind of help me feel more confident still put together just still feeling like okay I'm this new person I'm so comfortable I'm still able to play with my kid and still look cute or if I'm doing things that are not with my child I still look cute and uncomfortable and yeah so let's go ahead and get started with this video so first I want to share this outfit so this jacket is actually from Target it's that new uh, line and what I like about it is that if I can get it really like tie and kind of you know be more form-fitting and this is something that you really need to like to get like some type of vest to kind of throw over jeans. Another thing that I really like is having like um, basics like tank tops, bodysuits to layer with your outfits and you'll be able to really find outfits for you. That's what I've learned like having like Abercrombie is a go to for me. So this um, tank is from Abercrombie. These jeans are also from Abercrombie and I really love these jeans. Let me back up so you can see them. And they're just really flattering. So what I like to do too is say I wanted to be a little bit more form fitting. Um, I did size way up in this because it's all I could find. I'm not sure how this looks because I really can't see myself, but this is also something that you could do, which is like tying this together, which is really cute, but I kind of like it open. Another thing to invest in, what I first wanted to talk about are my go-to sneakers, as you can probably see, and these are Air Maxes. I love the color. I love the pop of the black. I think that's black. Yeah, the black, which really goes with so many outfits. I would wear these shoes with this outfit. Like you could pop on a heel, you could pop on a boot, but for me, it's just not comfortable. I'd rather wear tennis shoes. Tennis shoes is like where it's at when you're a mom. And trust me, invest in some good ones. So this is a good one that I wear almost every outfit forces, which is really nice. You know, you also could do that if you wanted to do something like this. Um, I This was my go-to shoe, but then I started wearing the Air Maxes. You also could do some ducks, which is like a cute color, and I've worn these a lot too. So you kind of can't go wrong with a jacket. I got this one from Kohl's. It's a little oversized. It's really comfy. You can wear this with leggings. You can wear these with, this outfit with sweatpants. I chose it to pair with jeans just for logistics. And yes, I love a jacket. I love this detail. It's so, I love the neutrals. It's just so easy to wear. I have another jacket that's a bit more boxy that I don't like. I just like the cut of this better and the material. So try to look for like a vest, not a vest, like a blazer that's really good. And then a jacket. Just get one of each and they're very versatile pieces that you'll be able to add to your wardrobe and feel more confident as a mom. Okay, I love a good sweatshirt. So this is also from Abercrombie. Abercrombie has been like the place to shop for me in my postpartum stage and now like in my new mom stage. I just think they have good sales. You're able to get things that fit. You know, I'm in mid-size. I'm about 14 to 16, so I'm 18 in clothing. And I have been have felt confident in all their pieces and been able to find things that fit me, which I love. Because that was even harder pre-pregnant when I was about a size 12, 14. And it was hard for me to find clothes that I felt confident in. So Abercrombie, Target, Kohl's, those are like my three go-to when it comes to finding clothing that makes me feel confident and just cute and practical. So I really love their sweatshirts and a good tip is to check the men's section. I love the men's section. 
for sweatshirts. This is a medium. I, I probably could have went a little bit larger, but I kind of like the fit, especially like if you want to pair them with a baggy jean. And another jean that I really like, and I'll, I'll um, clip some pictures of me in them in outfits, are these jeans. These are the Relax Jean High Rise, still in the curve love, and I love these. I love the holes and the details. They're like really wrinkled right now, but I just washed them. But these would be really cute with a sweatshirt, a fitted sweatshirt, and then you're able to wear like tennis shoes with it. It can be a whole vibe. So definitely invest in a couple different sweatshirts. I preferably love Abercrombie. That will be. So this is probably one of my favorite outfits to work in or like run errands or even go like out to lunch with some of my friends is leggings and whatever top. So I'm still pairing just, sorry if this is my bra, but I'm still pairing it with like a nude top. And this, this jumpsuit or this whatever bodysuit is from Abercrombie as well. And so is this jean jacket. I'm literally obsessed with it. I just love the fit and I like the oversize and pairing with like a skinnier legging is really flattering. These are the flare leggings. These are from Aerie, but I'm really been eyeing on the Lululemon um, groove leggings. I've been eyeing those and you can find dupes on Amazon as well, but Lululemon for me also was a brand that I still love postpartum and the aligned leggings are great for pregnancy and postpartum but obviously there's dupes out there i haven't tried them yet but i love that brand <laughs> so thank you for watching this is a very quick video kind of just a little like things that help with your wardrobe definitely i hope the my biggest takeaways is definitely invest in some good tennis shoes some staple pieces like a vest a jacket um, some good pair of jeans. I really love the Abercrombie Cur Curve Love line and even their other lines of jeans are just really flattering on me, especially like having an apron belly and all that. I really think they're really flattering. And, and also, if you're watching this and you're like, I can't even fathom putting on jeans or fathom like dressing up because they're so thick in the postpartum like era, it is a season and it did take me time to really find my style and to be able to really like pick pieces that fit me and to elevate my style. Like the vest I got from Target is something I normally, I keep calling it a vest. The blazer that I got from Target is something I normally wouldn't purchase for myself, but I've been really trying to elevate the pieces of my wardrobe and invest in like a time soul capsule of a war of time time capsule wardrobe and really style those pieces together and use them interchangeably that way i'm able to have more outfits to wear feel more confident but works for me is always tennis shoe leggings oversized stuff just feeling like you can move around especially like having a toddler it's been really hard like i don't feel comfortable in dresses or anything short because i'm always picking him up he's pulling at me everything's running up and these outfits are toddler proof unless you know the stains here and there if you care. So sometimes when I'm working from home, I don't really wear things like that. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next week. I'm gonna be doing my holiday gift guides. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I've kind of already shared them, but I'm gonna do videos more in depth on why I love these gifts and why I always suggest them for people.